know what it is, man. It's DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zion on the bridge to the streets. Yes, yes. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets right here on thisis50.com. Introduce yourself. Special guest in the building. Real special guest. Introduce yourself. How y'all doing, man? My name is the V Ramsey, also known as Hollywood V, man. You know, a Brooklyn artist. You know what I mean? Out in the Jersey area now, just killing shit, man. You know the game. All right, man. and we have... Shizzo, straight out of Philadelphia. For Shizzo. You know Re representing the whole okay. Philadelphia area. Yeah. You know I'm saying I'm out here with Davey, Real Hawk, ENT. Right. Apparently we had This Is 50. Right <laughs> 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 so, so, you know, shout out to DJ Thurl, you know, for having us. We appreciate you. Big facts. All right. A lot of sense of humor. This guy's good. Mm -hmm. I like I like it. <laughs> Let's start with you. I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, man. It was this movie called Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah. I saw you in this movie. It sounds familiar, Yeah, bro. I saw you. And I familiar. also saw you in a commercial with LeBron James. Yeah. I've seen you in a lot of shit. Yeah, actually. yeah, man. I'll be moving, man. So let's back up. How did you get that role in, in this? Uh, All right. This is, right. So Get Rich or Die Trying. <laughs> Yeah. So I'll right. take y'all back to 2000. And tell the people who you were. And so got you. Right. Got you. I'm going to take you back to 2005. You feel me? Okay. I was 14. The biggest 50 Cent fan you could possibly find. Yeah, you know I mean, like I had all the G Unit sneaks. I had the G Unit jerseys, everything. You feel me? Like I was a big 50 fan. And um, I seen the commercial to get Richard out trying. And I'm like, damn, I told my mom I got to be dope if I could be in this movie. I was signed to an agency, uh, Abrams. Okay. And, um, it's crazy because I went to the audition. There was like 600 kids there. Julito was there, Mac Wiles. It was a couple dudes. Like, these are my peoples, you feel me? They was there, and um, we all auditioned for the role. And um, I ended up getting it. And like, I couldn't believe it. Because I'm like, when I seen the trailer on TV, I'm like, well, the movie getting ready to come out. It's done, like, you feel me? Right. But they wasn't finished yet. So I got a chance to meet him on the set. And it's crazy because the only reason why they let me meet 50 is because they thought I was his son. And like, oh, y'all looking like, you feel me? Like, not now when I got my dreads, but when I was younger with the fade. So I ran up to him like, yo, 50, I'm your biggest fan. My rap name was the kid lean at the time. So I'm like, yo, I rap, this, that, and the third. So he like, all right, spit something. This is when he was beefing with like Jada Kiss and uh, Fat Joe and him. I was 14, I'm like, fuck Ja Rule, fuck Jada Kiss, man. Like, it's G Unit. So he like, all right, rap. So I spit some verses, fam. It was some bullshit. I, I'm pretty sure I was 14. But he was like, all right, this is dope. He gave me his card or whatever, told me to call him. And this is when his G Unit office was over there on 42nd Street across from Madison Square Garden. I, well, I fall. I'm bugging. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 34th. So I used to go over there and um, I used to go up to the office and rap with him, Yale, Lloyd Banks. They used to let me come. I used to just come so much. At first, they wouldn't let me in the building. But I was like such a damn pest. Like, they were just like, all right, come on, yo. Right. And like, World Star just started and all of that. And I was like, I used to rap for Yale. And I used to be like, yo, don't you think my shit is hot? Yale was like, yeah, you hot, but what's your buzz like on the internet? People didn't even really have a big buzz like that on the internet back then. Like, right. World Star just came out. They had Jim Jones and the robots and 50 Cent on the background. <laughs> like, if y'all remember that, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? right? Like, and. Like, they'd be like, are you hot? But, like, how we gonna sign you and you ain't got no buzz? And that always stuck with me, man. Like, and so, now, 50, if you watching this, man, <laughs> I got some motherfucking heat for that ass. Yeah, I mean, I got a record called Damn Homie right now. Need that on the last Damn season of Power. Homie, in homie. high school, you was the man, homie. Yeah, right. it, it's, it's fire. It's right. fire. Now, what role did you play in the movie? Like, oh, what, and give it to that trying. Now, what part? Who oh, was yeah. you in the movie? I played the role as D. That was my name, okay. D or whatever. And uh, I just was like a bully in the movie, um, pretty much. I wasn't even supposed to have speaking lines. They just, like the director, uh, Jim Sheridan or whatever, he came up to me because the original in my scene, it's when 50 Cent is younger and... Uh, we under the train tracks, he's selling drugs, and then like, like fuck you doing, it's my corner, I hook him and shit. Right. The original that's, scene right. was, he was supposed to kick me in the balls, that's right? That's all you, that's you. That's yeah. the part, you, you, let, you let him know the part. Yeah, 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 yeah. The original scene, he was supposed to kick him in the balls or whatever, and I told Jim Sheridan, I'm like, bro, that's not how drug dealers act. Like, ain't no drug dealer gonna kick another nigga in his nuts. Like, right. come on now. So he's like, what do you suggest? And I didn't think he <laughs> was gonna is, say this that. This is the director. The director, right? So I'm this 14. This is the cut, man. You got, a, you got a check coming. So I'm like, he's like, well, what do you suggest? And I'm like, oh shit. Well, maybe he could punch me in the face or something. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, logical, so they're like, let's see what the fuck it, what it look like. So when you see that scene, like I had a lot of input in that. And then and even the roles, he was just like the speaking lines. I improv. Right. You feel me? And it just came out dope as shit. You feel right. me? And I just kept going and going and going from there, man. Um, I got a movie on HBO right now called Cost of a Soul. Okay. Um, I did the LeBron James commercial. Yeah, we don't, we don't get into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the whole thing, man. I got a nice little resume, right. man. Been working. Right. Okay. Now, now, um, the LeBron James commercial. It was a deodorant commercial from that. Was it? A, was it? Powerade. 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 Something like mm -hmm. that. 
and LeBron was a judge. Yep, yep. Right. And mm -hmm. then now how how did you get that role, and how, what was it like working with LeBron in that capacity? LeBron is dope as fuck, and like that's why I'm the LeBron fan that I am now. Like he's the goat, the greatest basketball player of all time. If you Michael try to argue now, see, we're gonna have that argument. <laughs> Michael Jordan. LeBron will bust this. Jordan ass in his prime. If you take so. LeBron in his prime, right. Jordan in his prime. Right. Jordan right. played against old niggas. Right. You feel me? Like I'm just Jordan saying. Jordan was young too. Yeah. He, he was kind of. Like Jordan was just. Came out at 38 years old. So. Nah, he might as well have though. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying he was cool for his time. Let LeBron be great for his time. Like, yeah, you know I'm saying. Greatest, but, all right, go ahead. All right, either way though. You <laughs> know what I'm saying we're gonna agree to disagree. Right. <laughs> but um, no. So okay, the whole thing with Power Ray. Okay, so I, I wasn't acting for a while. I took a little break from acting. I had a son. And oh, um, congratulations. Well, I got five kids now. Damn. But this was this was back then when I did the commercial. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Get rich so humping, right. right? <laughs> <laughs> so um I was I was at home and I was working at a hotel job. I was doing housekeeping or whatever. Okay. And um I had got the call from my agency, like, yo, we got this audition for you for this commercial with LeBron James, da 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 da. And I'm like, yo, I didn't even have money to get to the audition. I was in Jersey. I'm like, fuck, how I'm gonna get on the bus, I gotta get a haircut, all this other shit. Needless to say, you know, I was able to figure it all out. Right. Um, and then I got there, I auditioned for it. It was a bunch of kids there or whatever and shit right. audition. Um and as I was leaving, it was a, a Thursday night. I had worked that Friday. It was a Thursday night. I was I was leaving. I was getting on the Greyhound bus with my uh, baby mom at the time, my first baby mom. And uh, I got the phone call like, yo, we booking you a confirmation flight. You're going to Miami tomorrow and shit. Like, you're going to do the commercial. Right. And I'm like, what? Like, y'all niggas ain't playing? Like, they're serious? Like, I'm out. I, I, you got your ticket. So I called my job. I'm like, look. Now, mind you, my job didn't know I acted nothing. I never said shit to them. So this was just some random shit. Right. So I'm like, yo. I got this LeBron James commercial. I ain't gonna be able to come into work for like a week. Now, I gotta go to Miami. Richard yeah, yeah, this is after okay. Richard okay. Dottrine. They didn't know that didn't I was. Know, in, I didn't say nothing. I was like incognito and right. shit. You know, so I fucking um, I do that or whatever, and I call my boss. I'm like, yo, I'm, I got this audition. I got the role. I gotta go to Miami tomorrow, so I'm gonna be gone for a week. She like, nigga, if you don't show up, you fired. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Like trying to hear that. She, she wasn't like she she and, and Jody. You know I'm talking about you, Camden. Real shit. She remember the story. You feel me? That's my boss. That's my homie. Now we cool now. Now she know. Right. So so, so we she all. Was hating. Jody was hating. She wasn't hating. She just didn't believe me, which is understandable. Okay. You feel me? Right. So I called my mom. I'm like, yo, what you think I should do? She said, fuck that job. So you know what I mean? I Shout quit my, my mom. quit my job. I was on a plane the next thing in the morning. You feel me? I flew first class. I had a private driver. They stay. They put me in a Mondrian. Okay. Um, so we was out there for a week, man. And we was balling the fuck out of control, yo. LeBron is the dopest. We had uh, went to Club Live. So you were interacting with him? Yeah, 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 yeah. We was chopping it up. We was chopping it up playing 2K and shit on the motherfucking tour bus and shit. Like, oh. and this was his last year in Miami. Oh, he was in Miami? This yeah, it was his last Miami. year in Miami oh. before he went back to Cleveland and shit. Right. So, I mean, it, it was dope, man. The experience is fun. I met a lot of celebrities, man. Right. And just when I meet them, we build, we bond. Right. Now, why didn't you, when you got down there with LeBron, FaceTime your boss? Like, look, bitch. I'm, I'm I don't not, even think FaceTime was a thing then, bro. Her, I don't even I'll know, take, like. A, pic, a, pic, a picture or something. Oh, no, when I got back, because I when I got back from uh, doing the commercial, I got paid that Wednesday. I went to go pick my check up and shit. Right. So, like, what you coming to pick your check? How much you got paid for that? What, for the so LeBron James commercial? commercial? Oh, 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 we made a nice, nice penny. Man. You know what I'm saying? Nice I penny. Get one of these damn commercials Close to twenty thousand at the residuals nice. and all of that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, ain't you know. So what's like, part two? Cause you know I got. <laughs> like, say, like, like we we ate. We definitely ate. That's you know what I mean? That that took care of me for a good six months. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, but it, nah, because you no, know, the crazy part is twenty thousand not a lot of money. That's not a lot of money. But when you twenty two, twenty three years old right. you and like you living it, on you your own, I was blowing that shit. Right. I was giving niggas thousand dollars, two thousand dollars to buy QPs. I ain't even sell weed or nothing. Homies was like, what? Homies was finessing me. Bro, they like, yo, hold on, this not this not Vlad TV. This <laughs> not indict you. This not getting indicted. <laughs> nah, nah. Oh yeah, nah. I ain't say nobody name. You okay. know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. All right. You know, cool. niggas was doing their thing. They was doing what they All was right. doing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't say no names, no locations, All nothing. Right. Cool. But you know what I'm saying? I, I just the money yeah. did. The money just went. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, yeah. If you're throwing out thousands of dollars, buying cars and shit. Yeah, I brought my baby mama with. You know what I'm well, saying? And she drove out my life with that shit. Fuck that. You know you talking about. Well, you know what? It's, it was in your name, right? <laughs> nah, it wasn't her name. Oh, I just, no, I paid for it. You fuck it up. I did fuck up. You fuck it was up. the pussy. You know what I'm saying? I was pussy with. It's all good, though. Uh, that's wrong. She dead, bro. <laughs> that's just wrong. Real shit, That's man. just wrong, Hey, yo. bro. Yo, I, I don't know. But, but you know, it just made me stronger, though. You feel right. me? Like, just being in the music industry and the acting right. industry, it's like, I kind of feel like 
I got a lot of comparisons to Drake. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because of the whole acting thing, he was doing the grassy thing. And like my music ain't like super right. hardcore, but I be speaking real shit. Right. I'm glad you're sitting here being like very transparent because a lot of people think once you're on TV, you got you got the, the money the money you make, it it, it, it never runs out. Or mm-hmm. they don't see the side of you. You, you. you were in a movie with 50, but yet you were working a regular job, so to speak. People think because you're on TV, you have no financial problems. Or you, you know, shit. You're not Even the people on TV have financial problems. Right. Shit, they be having more financial problems than the broke people. Right. And it's even worse because, see, I've been on both sides. I know what it's like to not have, and I know what it's like to have. You feel me? And i tell you one thing right now. It's better to not have to at all and then to have it and get it taken away. Get it taken away. Yo, yeah. if Jay-Z was to go completely broke today, he would lose his fucking mind. <laughs> like, if he woke up and he had a negative balance in his bank account, he right. would fucking jump off the Empire State Building. Well, he's been broke. He's, he's been broke. Be- he's been broke before. Now he is. He you know what I'm saying? But if he can make that back. Yeah. Right. But still yeah. want to lose all of that. He a billionaire. Who the fuck want to start at zero again? Like, that's, that's, right. that's hard. Like, you think he'd jump out the window? A lot of these celebrities would. Look how many celebrities killed themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because of the the problems. Because they can't have a regular life. They they try to live this fantasy that's not real. And then it's like you got to mingle with people that's really living everyday life. Shit is hard. Motherfuckers can't go to the club every night and throw twenty thousand dollars on a on the bitches and shit. Like what? You crazy? Right. And they get mad at Bow Wow for picking up the money fifty. Listen, I know you mad about him picking up (laughs) your bread. But niggas is, is struggling out here. We ain't got it like that. Well, Bow Wow should definitely have it like that. He, Listen, he spends Michael, money too much. He was in a fucking movie with Michael Jordan. I dig that. But look, 50, if, if you giving loans out and shit, can a nigga get 300,000? I'll have your money by Monday. You know what I'm saying? I like, know, I don't know if you want to do that one. <laughs> no, no, listen, I mean that. I'm going to have his money by Monday. Look, all the people that pay him back on time, they don't have no problem. They you have no me? problem. You see the boy Amari Har- uh, Hardwick from Power, you know what I'm saying? Right. 50 Lamb holds some money. He paid him back with interest. Right. I mean, he good. Right. I give him a little extra. You know what I'm saying? Go right. 400 down. All right. So, <laughs> you got here. Introduce yourself once again. This is my guy, Shizzo. Shizzo. Yeah. Right. Shizzo. Now, what role do you play? What, what do you guys have? You guys have music doing together? Or what are we doing? We together? signed to the same label. Um, okay. And uh, he's one of the artists um, on a label that I'm taking on tour with me. Okay. Um, the School of Class Acts tour. Now, who's on this tour? Uh, me, him, and then, you know, we got a couple of, you know, open acts. But I'm the headliner, and he the right. opener. He opened it up for right. me. Right. So, the, for anybody that's me, not completely understand. So, you're, you, you do... You're acting and you do, do music. Do yes, music. exactly, exactly. Now, what are you rapping, singing? Rap, what are you doing? sing, all of that. You feel me? I got an album out on all streaming sites right now. Hi, my name is the V Ramsey. Um, and uh, that thing is doing numbers. It's doing pretty good now. I'm starting to catch some traction. Right. Um, I just dropped the Fiji video. Um, I knew it's single, and right. uh, you know, I've just been killing them, doing the shows, man. Right. And then it helps with the acting because I incorporate. Yeah, yeah I was gonna ask you which one is working out better for you if you had to choose. Is it the I acting mean, because you've done some big shit? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was on the Sopranos, Ugly Betty, all of that, right. man. Like NYC Twenty Two with Robert De Niro. Right. Like you know, the the list goes on. You know what I mean, now, how hard is it to su- sustain? Regular work, like doing in, in that profession of commercials and acting. Like. Yo, for real, for real, uh, it's, it's, it's all about the, the work you put in. You know what I mean? You can have anything you want. You know what I'm saying? Some people work harder than others. Right. That's really what it boils down to, like how hard you want to work for it. Because anything is obtainable. You know what I'm right. saying? And I find that I have success in the acting and success in music, depending on how much work I put into it. Right. Now, do you get typecast? Like, you... You have to look a certain way to get certain roles or you know? I've had that happen to me. I was assigned to Abrams Artist uh-huh. from um two thousand and five to maybe about two thousand sixteen. And um, I ended up not wanting to stay with them anymore because I felt like that was my situation. I was being typecast. Right. Like I was always they was always trying to send me on a roll to be a bully and you know, a drug dealer. And I'm like, motherfucker, I could act. Can I get some pursuit of happiness type of roles? Like right. Right. can I get some shit that's gonna really like take right. me to the next level? Right. I was supposed to be on Empire, funny story and shit, and I ended up not showing up when I was supposed to be after I actually, you know, had the opportunity and you see how that worked out. Right. I didn't know the show was going to be as big as it was going to be when I first got the script. Right. Because they didn't have Terrence Howard and Taraji P on there on the on the first uh, official, right. yeah, that I got, like, it wasn't none of that. So right. I'm like... Right. Fuck this shit. So now are you acting full time or are you still working? At- I do both. You do both. Now I write my own scripts. You write your own yeah, scripts? Yeah, yeah, I mean. So. Eventually, I'm going to be in one of these motherfucking uh, facts. Movies. 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 Like, okay. You know, what, so what do you got? Com- right. Uh, movie wise or commercial wise, what are you working on next? What, what, what are we going to see you in next? Okay. Well, right now, um, I'm working on this film called The Passenger. 
Okay. Um, so we we still in the, the pre-production phases. Um, but I got a TV show that's getting ready to come out soon called Chase Street. Okay. Um, that I'm on with Gilly the Kid, Freeway, uh, okay. Ving Rhames, uh, the chick from um, Belly, Keisha. Keisha? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a couple. Where's Keisha? She's in Chase Keisha Street. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, Keisha you gotta watch bad. it. Nigga, Keisha she's still bad. Keisha was bad. She's still yeah. bad. She's right. still bad. So, right. um, Chase Street, that'll be coming out soon. And right. that's like, uh, like the newest product that I got. Right, okay. Now, you. You do music, right? You do music, yes, right? Yes, I'm you heavy can, in the music game. I've been doing You producing, you rapping, you sing no, what you do. I, I basically just write. Oh, you just, just write? write. I write for other <laughs> artists. I write songs. I write singles. I, I so you don't do. rap? Oh, yes, I rap yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you <laughs> you can rap? Right, hold on, right, you from Philly? Yes. Absolutely. You gotta have bars. Oh, he got yeah, bars. You got some bars? Yo, oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. See you right there. Let's go. She go, Ray. Go. Let's go. Go. Humble beginnings can only lead to some happy endings. Stop being mad that you losing and just be glad you winning. Hey. I used to look up to people who I thought I had a friend. Hey. Half of them niggas was equal, the other half pretending. Mm. I'm practicing my good deeds because I master sinning. I'm putting no faith in the afterlife because that's after living. Mm. I'm chase money. I chase women and having fish. Mm. Before I ever made my decisions, I had a vision. I'm from an era of crack babies and single mothers, perverted fathers and lonely daughters who needed brothers, a bunch of insecure haters and some conceited lovers. My people stuck at the bottom because we can't see above hey. us. They plenty of mistakes, but my biggest was thinking I'm average. Deserve a condo, but I'd much rather sleep in the barracks. I never ran from nothing unless you're talking about something involving some lovey cuffing discussions or commitment. And my name is Shizzo. Yeah, exactly. Woo! You feel me? <laughs> you my God. Oh, oh, oh. My you're, God. You're that's that's for Philly. Listen, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why, yeah, look, yo, you, you, got, you know, gotta have that. Dope. You know what I'm saying? Follow Dope. me. I mean, I'm, I feel like it's really a blessing to work Dope. with uh, Davey. You know what I'm saying? I met him through, you know, the label. You know? Right. I met the label Sony basically Hall. from me just, just working, right. you know, doing my thing. I got a couple emails. Boy was like, yo, man, you want to rock with us? Like, we we, we touring. We going right. all over. I'm like, man, I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm already right. at the bottom. Just right. like him, I was working a little hotel gig. Right. Going nah, front, that's, that's checking people in, checking people out. Right. Now I'm checking into these radio stations. Right, now I'm checking into these shows. Now we're about to get paid for the show. Yeah, you did? Listen, exactly. I, I really had to put my faith behind it. I really had to put my faith behind it. Because you know, like, a lot of times, especially as an artist, it's hard to actually see the vision when it's so much bullshit in the way. So right. much bull. But um, I met with Dave E doing the whole thing. We went to Cali together. Me and this nigga just instantly, instantly clicked. Right? Tour, I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's telling me about everything that he was doing, everything he had lined up. I'm like, yo, that's some dope shit. Right. And then from there, it's like, we just jumped on the rocket ship and took off. So right. I'm excited to, you know, right. to be a part of I, this. I thing. love, I love when talent speaks for itself. You said that was dope. He yeah. was ready. Or, he always or, ready. Or, that's or, why I just say, I know. Listen, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta put this out, this memo out there. All these artists, man, when y'all come up here, you see that? You gotta be ready to go. Just like that. Here. Just like that, instantly. Go. If you rap, don't come up here acting like I'm speaking Spanish to you when I tell you to rap. You go, uh, 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 uh. No, rap, nigga. If you gonna, if you rap, gonna nigga. do this shit, if you gonna do this shit, you gotta really be all in and ready at all times. Right. Because if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Period. You which, it's your turn. I said, shoot me now and sleep in that casket forever later. I tried to save him. You saw a loser. You died a hater. No more handshakes, fake smiles, or fucking favors. From now on, I'm Tupac in the elevator. Letting shit off like I was ghost, nigga. Bitch, I got the power in my hands. I don't understand you niggas, and I never will. Put a nigga on, show him love, teach him real. Mm -hmm. Then he turn around, forget you, man. This shit is ill. Ew. Then he turn around, forget you. Now I shoot the kill. Mm -hmm. I know my demons all too well, nigga. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to hell, nigga. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that this money ain't coming with us. But in this world, it's the only thing I'd rather trust. Mm -hmm. So if you try to stop my flow, then a nigga got a bust. Mm -hmm. More than just rounds in this bitch. Time. Sock in here, that's the new label and shit. Mm -hmm. So when he put up the money, so now we hungry and shit. I get to riding around all about my lonely and shit. Remember renting all them nights when I was hungry and shit. Ain't nobody give a fuck about my well-being. So now I'm taking trips solo to the Caribbean. I mean, a nigga got to go like it's time to pee in. I'm trying to drip with something nice, a little European. Damn. About time I bossed up. Bitch, I'm a rock. Ooh, there, there, there. We okay. there, I got it, baby. Right, like I'm like ready, baby. Right. We always ready. Right. Yo, yeah. I'm yo, always ready. Yo, I'm always ready, yo, DJ yo, Thurl, yo, man. You see the vibe that we see. I'm like, always come ready. Come Talent over popularity. You already know my, my motto. I love it. I you love got it. some bars, man. You feel yeah. me? Now you got bars. So listen, anybody want to get in contact with you? You can follow me on Instagram at I am the V Ramsey. That is I A M D A V E E D R A M S A Y. I'm about to get verified on there too, so you know what it is. You know the vibes. I'm on YouTube. What's the YouTube? Real Hawk Entertainment. Um, 
Yeah, Sony Hawk uh, on YouTube. You feel me on Facebook? The V Ramsey D A V E E D R A M S A Y. Talk to him, Shizzy. Yeah, my name is Shizzo. Like I said, S H I Z Z O. Simple as that. Six letter. S H I Z Z O. Go ahead and follow me. I definitely show love. I do follow back and all that stuff. And we just trying to work with artists because we about to go to a whole lot of cities. Mm-hmm. If you in Cali, if you in Vegas, if you in Miami, y'all trying to get these collabs together. Let's work. get it popping. Me and Dave V is. Full force. We hit the ground running and we're Facts. not stopping until we get our Facts. shots. That's just, that's just how it is. Right. Shout out to Sony Hawk for bringing the opportunity. Shout out to DJ Phil. Big, hey, big, big, big facts, big facts, big facts. Shout out to me. <laughs> Shout out to Fiddy too, man. Did you, did you, did you, you, Nick? Exactly. All right, man. So before we get out of here, man, I just want to say, like always, when you see us, one knee us. Let me pay respect. Yeah. Big facts.